We really wanted to have somebody there that had a vision and and was creative and as a you know and, and, and could connect with the community as well as the young people there. But we're also a library that is you know setting the bar for urban library services across the country to show how important libraries are and so that other cities can use our models and use us as an example. At the beginning, you know, I was calling it a video. When I was, <laughs> when we were thinking about what this video could be to showcase libraries and the Hartford Public Library, um, really started much more modest and as he started to honestly teach me through this experience what filmmaking was all about. Well, I mean, money's always an obstacle, right? So the fact that um, we've been able to create this amazing work on the shoestring budget that we have is a huge testament to Christopher and to everyone behind the scenes um, who are owed a great deal of thanks and appreciation for making this happen. What attracted you to the project? Um, well, you asked me to do the project, and I felt like I was helping my homeboys. So I wanted to support you, and it, it didn't matter really what it was. But then when I read it and I saw that it was, you know, helping people to uh, understand the power of reading, uh, it also felt like it was a really good project to be a, a part of. So um, there were two things, it was you, and it was the content and the story, and the purpose. It was a feel-good story told well. And it was written like a professional who doesn't have any resources. There weren't car chases and there wasn't seven locations and hair, you know, heavy makeup. There was no distractions, no frills. It was just story. And that's admirable. Well, thoughts or things came to my attention by just how the books affected my character's role. It just how it affected his life was like so amazing to me. And that just, pulled me in to where it was like, I gotta do this, this is like so cool. When I first started shooting it, I know why, I knew why I didn't have lines and I progressed from there. And I was just, it was because it was, because of his emotions and how, like the thoughts are things, that's the name of the movie. And that actually helped my acting. And from there, I used my thoughts to show my emotions because my thoughts activate my face and whatever I'm thinking happens. So that's that's how I got through it. So, boss. So we're getting our mic up, but then let's run. I called you and I said, I was like, Christopher, no, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not, I'm not, I can't, it's too, no. I'm very sensitive to perpetuating stereotypes. I loved the representation of black men in Thoughts or Things. I loved the relationship with the black man and his daughter. It was just all things right. And ultimately I did it because it wasn't a random thought. It wasn't just something that you decided to throw in there or put in there or, and that's just how you decided this black woman would be portrayed. It wasn't that at all. It was a lot deeper. There was meaning and purpose in it for you. And because it was, it gave it that for me. People involved in this project are people who'd had very close long-term relationships and friendships with our writer-director, Chris. Um, I think gave him probably a sense of comfort and ease, knowing that he, I imagine intentionally, handpicked each one of us because he 
felt comfortable with us. He knew he could trust us. He, you know, there was maybe to some extent a sense of, of shorthand um, so that on the day everyone sort of some knows subconsciously that, you know, you're working with people who have your back, who like you and who are nice and kind and pleasant and who want to support the filmmaker in every way that we can. The fact that, that Chris was able to get major Oscar winning talent to participate in this is all on Chris. I mean, the story again is beautiful, but the story comes from Chris. So the, but Chris's perseverance and like for me and for others, I'm sure the willingness to work for him is because of him, his attitude. So the, the, the level of humanity that he brings to things is his own. Chris is um, very eccentric and energetic and passionate and, and devoted and also loyal. So when you have like that kind of a mixture in a guy, like walking around set, really dialed into every single person, pretty easy. <laughs> he did a really good job of, of having conversations individually with you, right? If he needed something from you, it wasn't this agitated, public, vague conversation. It was a amicable, calm, respectful, like uh, dialed in conversation. You're seeing cuts of us doing things, and I promise you five seconds before that, we were talking to Chris. I just need that second between a list of misdemeanors mm -hmm. so I can go to jail a little while. Okay. Because you. the majority of people who watch it are going to think automatically you're looking for a book. Yeah, 100%. Okay, okay. We learn as we move through the entertainment industry is that storytelling is a great leveler. That artistry is, uh, people are attracted to artistry. They're not attracted to status. They're not attracted to uh, uh, the awards that people might have or the fame they may have. What they are attracted to is the opportunity to tell a story that means something to them. Felt that, you know, I was surprised that it brought tears to my eyes. I was like, I've read the script how many times? Why am I, why, why is this happening to me right now? Supporting you as a director was very similar to how I started, you know, Mike and the rest of them, you know, they write and direct and, and then they pull crew, crew together. And so it felt very familiar to my, you know, my origins. I remember giving your daughter a sweatshirt that had letters all over it. And um, when I found that sweatshirt, it just felt like it was right for this project. It's this, this story, this screen, screenplay. I mean, I put you in a lab coat. I mean, I can't say, you know, <laughs> that's like, you know, like, but it was nice to see that you were also going to perform as well as direct, you know, you were, you were focused and uh, it was nice to see that, you know, energy, that commitment, uh, that storytelling. Um, I, I really could see, you know, especially when I got to set that, you know, you really knew what you wanted and you wrote a, you read a great script and you really put the people in, in place that you needed to support you. And I think that shows on screen. Thank you Your so directing much. was really, really perfection. He brings out a, 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 the best in people, you know, and they want to work with him to tell stories. My dad stands on reading a lot. Um, he stands on concepts. You guys are going to see a lot of his, his daily concepts. Thoughts are things I feel like is based on him and how he perceives life overall. So I believe he brought this movie into life. This is his imagination on screen. When people show passion, when people show talent, that that's what you need to invest in, right? And sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. My advice is find them the money.